Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty D TV, but I was at the 2020 Grand National Roadster Show in Pomona, California, and I came across a 1970 El Camino I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Scott, very cool, uh, El Camino, what year is it? It's a 1970. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, I actually bought it from my employee, and we were just gonna paint it and flip it, and I uh, decided to go all the way. Had it been something you'd been thinking about or always wanted an El Camino? Uh, well, I have a 60 El Camino that my father-in-law had as a service pickup, and we restored it, but not to this level. But we just decided that there's not too many of these out there right. done at this level, and so far it's done real well. I bet it has. How yeah. long has it been done? It's been a little over a year. Okay. Tell me a little bit about some of the changes you made to it. You know, on the body mods, not much. Just um, shaved the drip rail, and we... Took a little bit out of the back of the cab, um, took the slope out of the back of the cab, and then just flush mounted all the bumpers and and uh, that's about it. it up, sharpened it up, cleaned it up, put a put a redwood burl wood bed in it. It's How a, thick is that wood? It's well, when we bought it, it was four inches thick. Right. You know, it was a whole one piece. Right. Oh, I see. I yeah, see. Okay. I got it on the coast, and then yeah. we. We boarded it out and laid it in just like the burl, and yeah. that people like that. It awesome. really turned out nice. But uh, Gabe's interior did the interior, and uh, it's got a 572 with a Hillborn Holly fuel injection, electronic fuel injection, and and uh, yeah, it's just been a really fun car to show. I bet it has. Tell me what color is it? That's a Kodiak brown. It's actually a Ford color. Oh no kidding. Yeah, it's off my Ford pickup. Oh cool. But. Uh, we liked it, so uh, it fits this car real well. Right on. I think so, too. It wears yeah. it very well. Yeah, right. Most people think it's black. Yeah, it does. It can fool you until the light hits yeah. it, and then it goes to being a really deep brown. But Yeah, right. And yeah. Cam Miller at HS Customs, he he brought it to this level out of Logan, Utah. Okay. So he's he's the guy with the with the touch, the paint, and the body work, and, and all the fit and finish. He's, he's really good. Very nice job. Tell me about what size are the wheels? Uh, there's 17s on the uh, front, 18s on the back. Just uh, we didn't want to tub it. We just liked it the way it was. So right it's got an Art Morrison chassis, okay. uh, six-speed Trebek, and uh, four nine-inch right. coilovers, right, wheelwood cool. brakes. Right on. Yeah. So yeah. it'll go. It'll stop, and yeah. it's gonna have a good ride to it yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's 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 been fun. Awesome. So, yeah. It was uh, good guys this year. Good guys truck of the year. Oh no kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then. And it, it's won some big shows. Third place at the Cup in Reno. That's pretty good. Yes, it and, is. Um, and we've won best truck here last year. We're just bringing it here to show it. I got you. And uh, we're hitting the Autorama shows pretty hard this year. Try to, get well, the, yeah. try to get the ISCA award at the end. That's right what on. we're shooting for. Well, brother, it's an awesome El Camino. I sure appreciate yeah. you giving me some time today. Thank you. Yeah, good to see you. You too. So there you go from the 2020 Grand National Roadster Show, a 1970 Chevrolet El Camino Custom. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.